Hello and welcome to the Carlisle Napa Auto Parts training video. This video will be focusing on the basic uses of Parts Pro SE. In this video, we will show you how to find the right parts for your customers while using Parts Pro SE. Also in this video, we will show you basics in how to use, use search by field, perform lookups, and access search results. To begin, open your TAM screen followed by selecting your cataloging by either selecting F9 in the upper right hand corner of your screen or by going to catalog at the top of your screen and selecting Parts Pro SE or Control F8. Once you have selected cataloging, a new Parts Pro SE window in your internet browser will open. Here are a few simple yet important things you will commonly be using when you arrive at this screen. First, you will notice this search bar. Parts Pro SE will know what kind of search you are looking for by what you enter here, such as part numbers, descriptions, and more. We will review this in more depth coming up shortly in the video. Second, you will see a search by interchange in the upper right hand corner. This option will always be here in case you need to perform an interchange at any time. Here you can utilize a search by year, make, and model. This highlighted area allows you to decode the vehicles by VIN number. And this area highlights your license plate. If the vehicle is registered by its VIN number, this function can give you vehicle information that may not be readily available by the customer. Starting with the search bar we first showed you, let's try a couple examples on how to use this function. If you search for a 1999 Jeep Cherokee oil filter, you can type in 99 Cherokee oil filter, then select the search button or press enter. You only need to use the last two digits in the year and you do not have to type in the vehicle make to complete this search. Parts Pro SE will figure out the make by the information that you entered and giving you your results. Let's try another example that you may not come across every day. Say the application is not your typical automotive application. If a customer asks for an ignition coil for an old 8N tractor, you can try a search like this. Ford 8N coil. Parts Pro SE will decipher what you are looking for. It may give you multiple choices if there are different coils for different years. If you have the information, you can refine your search by selecting the year, then deciding if the tractor is 12 volt or 6 volt, while giving the customer the option of buying the original OE part. Before moving on to the next subject, here is one more quick example of the many, many uses of the search bar. In the automotive parts industry, slang terms for items have become commonplace. For example, if a customer asks for a pickle fork, otherwise known as a tie rod separator tool, PPSE has evolved and continues to work on and understand what you are looking for every day. As you can see, thousands of results have populated starting with the most obvious answer to your search. A vehicle application does not need to be applied when searching for tools and equipment and miscellaneous items. The next subject we will go over is part number interchange. In this example, we will interchange a battery. The part number is 35-2. Using the dash in the part number is optional as PPSE will know what you are looking for. As in previous examples, multiple choices are shown, but the most common or most obvious choice is shown first in line. Moving right along, here is how to look up year, make, model. First, select the year. In this case, we are going to look up a 2005 Honda Civic with a 2 liter engine LX two-door coupe. You can type this information in or select the application by clicking with the mouse. Then you can choose to look up a part similarly to the search bar on the top of the page or search by job type or category. We will dive deeper into Mitchell and diagrams on another video. In this example, we are going to search for 
job type, break job front. In order to narrow down your search, it is best to answer the questions provided by the customer at the top of the screen first. As you scroll down, you will see all the options for a front brake job on this vehicle, from calipers, brake fluid, pads, rotors, and more. Now that we have covered some of the basics in PPSE, we will show you how to access your search results and what to do with it. We are going to be using a Napa Gold 1515 oil filter as the primary example. When you find the part or parts that the customer has requested, they might have some questions about it. You can find some of this on your initial search screen. In this area, you will have the item description, part number, availability, price, list price, and ability to add it to the cart. Once the item has been added to the shopping cart, you will see an item at the top of your page indicating that it has been placed in your cart. From this point, you can continue looking up additional items or continue to check out. Heading back to the TAM screen, you will notice that the 1515 Napa Gold oil filter that you selected has been added to your POS or point of sale screen in TAMS. From this point, you can continue to build a customer or selected account. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and hopefully this video has offered you some insight into the Parts Pro SE cataloging system. Thank you again.